Hi guys, so we're going to talk today about how to build an amortization table in Excel. Um, so let's just jump right in. Um, we'll start with up here and then we'll go to what's going on down here. Um, total cost of the uh, whatever you're buying, down payment, loan amount. So total cost, you go into a dealership, you decide to buy the car for $25,000, decide to put nothing down in this scenario. Um, and the loan amount. So the loan amount ends up being the 25000 minus whatever you end up deciding to put down. So full cost minus down payment equals loan amount. Then we'll talk about term in, um, in months. Five years times 12 is 60. So we're using that in our example. Interest rate, 3%. I just put that in there. We'll look at different interest rates, what that does for interest, um, and what that does for um, yeah, the total amount of interest that you end up paying. And then we'll talk about the payment. So here comes the uh, how to calculate uh, payment in Excel. So equals PMT, that's the uh, formula we're using. And we're going to use these three things. We're going to use the rate, the number of periods, and the present value. The rate is your interest rate divided by 12 because we're talking about per period. And remember, this is APR, 3% APR, annual percentage rate. Divide that by 12, that's how much you're paying each month. So we'll take the rate, we'll divide it by 12, that'll be our interest rate. We'll put in the number of periods, it's going to be 60 months, and then we'll put in the present value, which is $25,000. Um, this is how much we've decided to take out, how much we owe right now. Um, and I'm going to make this, I'm going to put a negative here, because when you don't, it comes out as a negative, and that kind of bothers me. So. Your payment is 449.22. If you decide to change your terms, okay, five, eight percent, whatever, it shows you what your interest or what your total payment amount is going to be. Let's go back down to three percent, and let's scroll down here a little bit. We've got down here the number of payments, um, the payment amount, the principal amount, and additional payment amount. Principal amount being the amount that um, is being directly applied towards reducing your balance. The interest amount is the amount of interest that you're paying for that current balance. And the additional payment amount is just if you decide to make an additional payment. Important thing to note here, these two payments or these two amounts are reducing your balance dollar for dollar. This amount is not reducing your balance at all. This is just going directly to the bank. This is what the bank is making off of you for loaning you this money is what they're charging you. Okay, so let's go with balance. Now, first time uh, you first month you take the loan out, you're not gonna have a payment. You're just gonna have taken the loan out. So let's make the balance equal to the initial twenty-five thousand. Balance going forward is gonna be your prior balance minus principal and minus any additional payment you has to decide to make. So that's where, like I said, the amount of the principal and the amount of any additional payments you decide to make um, are what reduce your balance dollar for dollar. Interest doesn't. So when you make this 449 payment, um, your uh, the first payment, um, $25,000 isn't going to reduce by 449. All of a sudden you owe uh, 25,000 minus 449. No, you are going to owe uh, $25,000 minus the principal portion of that first $449 payment, okay? We'll get into that in a minute. So how do you calculate interest? You take the amount of loan times the interest rate, and again, divide that by 12. How do you get the principal? Take the total payment amount, you back out the interest amount, okay? And how do you come up with the payment? Um, a little more complicated than simply referencing this cell. What we're going to do is we're going to say equals if the remaining amount of the balance is greater or sorry is less than the amount of the payment then we want you to take the prior balance plus the outstanding interest that we've already accrued for this period okay and um, otherwise sure just take the regular payment amount okay 
and two things that you need to do here you see this b9 here and this b9 here we want to reference this cell no matter how many uh, times we drag this formula down so we want that to stay the same so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a dollar sign in front of the B in front of the 9 so when I drag it down it doesn't change Let's go ahead and close that off a lot of you probably already know that um, we're gonna do the same thing here obviously I don't want it to reference any different cell as I'm dragging the formula down I should make sure I didn't miss anything here this one's fine this one's fine. Okay. Um, and then let me just clarify here on the payment. Why did I say that if this uh, amount is less, right? The outstanding amount is less than the payment amount. Um, you know, then take the prior period balance plus the interest amount. The reason is if you decide to make additional payments, this balance is going to decrease much faster, right? So you won't have sixty months of payments you'll have 58 or 59 or whatever and um, you don't want your payment to calculate just the same amount every time because then you're going to show negative amounts here your amortization table will be wrong so let's go ahead and drag this down and I'll show you what I mean by that okay here you have zero remaining right you it's calculated perfectly all these payments have made this is how much you paid towards principal and again, the amount you've paid towards principal, right, should end up totaling $25,000. You'll see that here, $25,000. The amount of your interest is here, 1953 okay? You owe nothing at the end of the loan. Here is where it makes a difference. So if I decide to pay $500 in my first period, you'll see my uh, balance goes down. The amount of total interest that I owe goes down because I'm paying the principal off faster and the number of payments decreases because 60 payments is no longer required by the 59th payment I've paid off the remaining 31860 plus the 80 cents um, on the 59th payment um, because I paid an additional $500 here and like I said important thing to note the amount of additional payment directly dollar for dollar reduces your balance Right, so this interest amount that you're paying, that is totaled with the principal amount, 449.22, which is the payment that you made plus the $500. Let's leave the $500 aside for right now. 449.22 includes principal and interest. Right, so let's get rid of this $500 for a second, and you'll see that your loan amount only decreases by this principal amount, even though you made a $449 payment. Um, the bank has to make its money too, so the bank is charging you every period a certain amount of interest. Now if this goes up, like I said, to 8%, you'll see the amount, total amount of interest that you're paying goes way up. So you just paid $30,400 for a $25,000 car or truck or whatever you bought. If this drops back down to 3%, you paid almost twenty seven thousand dollars for that car same car okay so obviously the interest rate you get is very important alright guys if you have any questions uh, this is just a really quick thing on how to put an amortization table together in Excel if you have any questions leave comments below um, and I'll try to get to everybody uh, if you want the copy of this file uh, if you don't want to recreate it let me know I can send it to you um, thanks for watching